Uh, Pete Hanscom, we just witnessed the great game of List Day cricket here. It was thrilling for the spectators, for the commentators. Um, for Middlesex, a defeat though, how do, you, how do you weigh it at this stage? Are you able to take the positives from it or uh, where's your opinion at this point? I mean, it is frustrating. I think that's a given. Um, no one likes losing close games, uh, especially you know when we did so much right there uh, to, to get us get ourselves in a position to win the game. Um, you know, credit to them as well. Their their last ten overs with the bat was quite impressive uh, and got themselves to a very competitive total. And you know, we almost almost got the perfect run chase and just fell a couple short. So much to pick through for Middlesex. It was almost you know a little bit in the prism of the whole season. The youngsters in particular, um, Davis, Anderson at the end. Um, good performances from then. It was a tough day with the ball, but you know, stuck at it as well. Um, it's what to work with, really, isn't it, um, for Middlesex? Because obviously, you'll pick through as well the things that didn't go so well today. Yeah, but there, like, like you said, there are a lot of positives, and these young players, uh, yeah, Davo Pass, these boys coming through, that they've been they've been impressive, and they're going from strength to strength. Um, and that's all we're really asking is that there's improvement from game to game, and I think we we are seeing that. Whether the results show that or not, I think we are seeing improvement. Um, and even our losses this year outside the Essex game, uh, the first game of the season for the one day comp, outside that they've been really close. We lost the game by two runs, we lost the game out here by three runs and then you know a couple of close chases as well that just didn't quite get over the line. So it's been, it's been close and there's a lot of positives to take from it. Is that the key to cling to because Stuart Law was brought in with a remit, you've been brought in with a remit by Stuart Law and that is to bring through this, this side through a transition um, from last year, you'll come back next year taking those performances within the, within the game, taking the results out of it and taking those youngsters into next season? Yeah, so we've had a big focus of trying to put the result out of our mind because ultimately we can try and affect it but we can't control the result, we can't control what happens. So um, backing in our process and understanding that if we stay calm and clear within, within each ball that we're giving ourselves the best chance of performing. Um, and it's really pleasing seeing the youngsters uh, buying into that. Uh, and trying to stay as, as calm as possible out there. And we're seeing some really, really good results from them. So it is a shame that you know, we're not getting those wins on the board that we wanted. Um, but I've, I've got a pretty good feeling that next year this will all, this will all turn around and um, we'll start to see some results. Because of course this is you signing off for the year. So your mind with Stuart Law will be turning to next year already. Um, although there are four games to go and I'm sure you'll want to have a little input into what team selection is for those four games as well with Stuart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we've got to keep moving forward and looking for the future here. So, those four games, um, you know, are going to be going to be really good. Uh, I think we can take some momentum from this one-day competition into that. I think we can take a lot of positivity. Uh, we're starting to show a lot of fight and a lot of character, and that's the kind of stuff that we're that we're, we're happy to see, and we and we want these young boys to be able to do. So, it's it's really pleasing um, seeing the way that these guys are going about their cricket. Like I said, the, the results will change. Usually when I'm doing interviews in any sport, when there's a run of results where it's defeats, 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 um, it's pretty obvious what's going on and you kind of nail things. But I guess where Middlesex have performed well at times and performed really well at times and still come out with a defeat, that's where it's been very difficult to sum up this season. I guess that that in itself is the challenge for yourself and Stuart going forward. Yeah, 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 spot on. And that, that kind of happens sometimes with a young team. Um, so you don't put the complete game together at times. Uh, it's a bit like golf, mate. Sometimes you're driving well and you're putting like crap, and then the next day you putt well, but you drive crap. So it, it, it can happen in cricket, and sometimes we're going to bowl well. Um, you know, spinners will dominate the game and, and we'll win. Um, and then sometimes the spinners have a tough day, and the batters try and uh, pick up and, and get the win from there. So we're, we're so close to putting that, that whole game, that complete game together, and there's a similar stuff in the championship as well. We had fleeting moments of some really, really good cricket. cricket. Um, and then one innings and the game will change. So the closer we get to, to putting these good performances on the board, the more that that complete game is, is around the corner. It's been tough the whole season, um, been tough for yourself. Um, you walked into a, a batting lineup that were full of collapses from recent years. You kind of walked straight into it against Surrey at 16 for three at that point, and the ball swinging around corners in an early season pitch. Um, it's, you know, there's obviously been a few LBWs that have gone pretty harshly against yourself and a few others as well. Um, how hard has it been for you this season though? Um, because you've obviously had to come into a side that have had problems in recent years um, and try and help affect that while obviously trying to combat walking off shield tracks onto early season pitches in England. Yeah, it's very different cricket over here, very different. Um, we definitely can't uh, look at dismissals too much and, and um, you know that's the stuff that's sort of out, out of our control. Um, but. Yeah, like I said, keep sticking to our process and, and hopefully those you know, collapses are, 
the smaller. Um, but we're also not the only team that's done that in county cricket at the start of the season as well. Sometimes on those wickets, uh, it can be tough, and, and we've seen other counties do it as well. So trying not to focus too much on that. I think if we can focus on the good times that we've had and, the, and what we're doing well, and then keep trying to repeat that as much as possible, then the, the collapses start to look after themselves. I think you pretty much answered my question there, but I'm going to put it directly onto you as an individual, because I know that was one of the reasons why Stuart Law wanted you as captain, for your reaction in adversity as much as your reaction in terms of um, in victory. Um, but how have you held it yourself? How, how heavy a season has it been on you? Yeah, I mean, it has been tough. I'd be um, silly if I denied I, I haven't had tough times this year. Um, you know, you're, you're coming to a new club and you always want to perform straight away and, and obviously the runs haven't been there for me this year and that's, that's the obvious thing to say but I'd, I'd like to feel that I've been able to, to pass on maybe a little bit of wisdom to these young boys and, and hope um, that they've grown and, and be able to help them in some, in some tough uh, circumstances. So as long as we, we are improving as a team, uh, which we are seeing and we are seeing uh, these young guys get better and better and that's, that's the main thing I wanted to take away from this season uh, and hopefully you know those runs come next year. Good luck with Australia, appreciate your time, hopefully uh, see you next April on some nice flat tracks in England. Okay, yeah, that'd be nice, cheers mate. Cheers pal.